Time is short. What is your life? It's even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. If I told, if someone had told me when I was 20 years old that life was very short and would pass just like that, I wouldn't have believed it. And if I tell you that, you don't believe it either. I cannot get young people to understand how brief life is, how quickly it passes. It seems like yesterday I was in school. Every one of us here has been given the same amount of time in a day. 1,440 minutes a day, 168 hours per week. 70 years God allows us. And it's interesting to me with all of our medical science, we've never passed that magic mark. The average American male today lives 70 years and four months. The average female, 73 years and six months. More people live to be seven, but the average age of an American is still 70 as taught in the scriptures. What a thing it is when you think that you have just one short life to spend in the same view. I'd write down my priorities in life, and I'd get committed to certain priorities. Now is the accepted time, the things we ought to do, the classes we ought to take, the books we ought to read. Do it now. The family that needs you, spend more time now. Write that letter home now that you've been meaning to write. Money you ought to give, give now. Time for study, do it now. People you ought to witness to, do it now. Every time the clock ticks, it seems to say now, today, if you will hear his voice. There may not be a tomorrow for you and for me because there's a warning to time. Time is running out for all of us. Time is too short for indecision and vacillation. Do not halt between two opinions. Fools say that time is long. Every morning we have 86,400 seconds to spend and to invest. And each day the bank named time opens a new account. It allows no balances and no overdrafts. If you fail to use the day's deposits, the loss is yours. The Bible says redeem the time because the days are evil. And the days in which we're living are very evil. If there was ever a time for the gospel that can transform the human heart, it's now. Jesus said, as long as it is day, we must do the work of him that sent us. The night is coming when no man can work. The night is going to come in your life. Yet there was a serenity about the work of the Lord Jesus. It's the quality of life, not the length. Jesus only had 33 years. And it ended on the cross. To the world, he was a failure at that moment. Yet at the end of his life, he said, I finished the work that thou gavest me to do. It doesn't matter whether you live another year or two years or five years. Will you don't work be finished? Is there a quality to it? Is there a dedication to it? Suppose all of our members tithe their time to witness for Christ as we tithe our income for the church. Fill your heart with the word of God. I've found that those who know the scriptures are the ones that have the power today. But we need men and women who walk with God. And if you do that, you too can finish the work that God gave you to do and help us to realize the brevity and the urgency of time. And may we invest what little time we have in the kingdom of God. Jesus is not a good man. Maybe he's wonderful, but not a good man. If you don't let that man rise within you, then you will remain good and dead. That part of you which has been kept dead for too long, it's time to raise it. Whatever we are referring to as Jesus is not about some man two thousand years ago. It's about a certain possibility within every human being. 
So that has to rise. It's not that there is no Jesus in you, it's just you kept him hung, impotent. He needs little empowerment. He needs to be raised. So the whole effort is that part of you which we can call Jesus or Shiva or whatever you like, to allow that to rise. Can you say Shiva is a good man? No, but he's fantastic. Even Jesus, not a good man, wonderful, not a good man. Anybody who disturbs the existing situation is not a good man, isn't it? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. In any given situation, someone who disturbs your family situation, somebody who disturbs your social situation or political situation, national or international situation, is not a good man in that society, isn't it so? So Jesus is not a good man. Maybe he's wonderful but not a good man. Shiva, definitely not a good man, but fantastic he is. If you don't let, let that man rise within you, if you do not let that aspect rise within you, then you will remain good and dead. Dead is good, dead is always good. Yes or no? Once it happened, a five-year-old boy and his mother went to the cemetery. He had never seen a cemetery in his life, this is the first time. The mother was dedicated to one particular grave, she sat down. The boy went about everywhere, reading all the inscriptions on the tombstones. He went through the whole cemetery, read everything and came back to his mother and asked his mother, Mom, where do they bury all the horrible people? Every tombstone says this was the most wonderful man. Dead is always good, isn't it? Dead is good, living is trouble. <laughs> because living is trouble, we reduce the living to half dead. Fifty percent life is safe. That's where most people have settled. You must decide, dead or alive. Half dead is not good, isn't it? Once Shankaran Pillai was arrested for mixing horse meat in chicken cutlets and selling. So when he went uh, to the court, there was nothing else to do, so he pleaded guilty. And they asked, how much horse meat and chicken meat, how did you do? He said, fifty-fifty I did. So he got some fine and some kind of thing and then he came out. His friend asked him, what did you mean by saying fifty-fifty? He said, the one horse, one chicken <laughs> That's fifty-fifty <laughs> So, this mixture won't work. You have to raise the dead. You really have to raise the dead that part of you which has been kept dead for too long, it's time to raise it. Walk with me through the valley and through the shadows of death. And whose hands will be steady, you will say, He'll hold my hand, boy, and hold on. And there'll come a moment when I'll face another time that I've never been through.
I have to have a Savior who can say, hold my hand, boy. We're almost through.